Hello everyone and welcome back to Wolf Quest 2.7.2. We are here with the Starry Skies pack today with Kuma, his mate Willow, their companion wolf, his cousin Spirit, and one missing puppy. So way up there, Usagi is actually running down the mountain right now. So she's coming back because she has been caught and she's in a little bit of trouble. But Usagi went missing. You guys voted last time on the adventure that Spirit was going to get up to and what happened is spirit smelled something that was kind of musty uh it kind of smelled like old bones and blood at the back of the den so there you go willow you are an amazing mother so what spirit did is he ran off to go see or he went into the den to go see what was there and it was usagi usagi went all the way back up to the den site and you could see she was up there but she didn't stay there very long because apparently spirit called out to willow and they they kind of sorted through Let's see. Oh gosh, am I really that low on elk? <gasps> okay, puppy, stay there. I need to go get some food before you guys starve. But it looks like Spirit actually called over to Willow because you guys voted on his adventure. And his adventure was to find something that smelled like old blood and kind of musty at the back of the den. And so Usagi left her lucky rabbit's foot back at the den site. And she remembered it at the last minute as the very curious, very risky little pup that she is that she left her lucky rabbit's foot and she couldn't she couldn't go on to this summer hunting grounds place without it so she turned around and she climbed back up and thankfully spirit managed to stumble on her up there and called down to willow and willow promptly like brought her back i thought maybe it would be a bit more of a challenge like usagi might take forever kind of like when we were dragging the puppies down to wash them at the the pond and it took forever to get them up and down the mountain but apparently Willow and Spirit were having none of that nonsense, so I apologize for that adventure being a little anticlimactic. It was meant to give Usagi a little bit of a challenge and maybe put her life at risk because the life of a wild wolf pup is always very dangerous. All right, man, oh my gosh, Willow, where are you going with Nightwatch, Willow? Clover, um, did you guys see how fast Clover and Sky and Usagi were running just then? Do I have like speedy, speedy puppies? Willow, where are you going with Nightwatch? Could you maybe put him down? I was just feeling- oh boy. Okay. Alright, she brought him over here. Okay. Wow. This is already going a little bit different than it usually does. Um, let's come over and get the girls, I guess? Ladies, how are you? Alright, everybody's pretty hungry. Well, I'll go ahead and feed you. And we actually haven't had any predators, so- Oh, oh, great. Really? No, no, no. Where? Uh, I don't smell anybody. Okay, come here, Clover, let's feed you. Okay, Usagi, okay. Usagi, why is it always you? <gasps> oh, why is it always her and coyotes, you guys? Uh, get away. Get away, coyote. Oh man, Kuma is so strong. And that's something we noticed last time too. He like lands two blows and then he's able to chase off a coyote. So no eagles just yet. I guess we're gonna have to just continue moving on with our puppies and hope that we stumble on some eagles. Willow is running back. Are all the puppies decently fed? Uh, they're getting a little bit hungry. Usagi is kind of hungry. I think we're gonna have to do another hunt or two before we can really start moving towards the summer hunting grounds because I don't think we have enough food, you guys. There's only like, well, we might be able to do it, but we, we technically are supposed to wait and work on chasing off eagles but i'm not really finding any eagles like we haven't been chased by eagles at all just yet and how many bears have we chased off 13. that's not bad that's not bad for only having one litter of wolf pups so far so i kind of think we need to do another hunt um and it looks like come on puppies come this way oh willow okay willow uh willow willow where are you taking sky Willow, where are you going? Why are you running in circles in here? What were you doing with this puppy? Don't you understand? Why Sky? I know she's super curious, but like, did she wander into those bushes and you were just chasing her? Oh, there's some elk. All right, well, I'm gonna see if I can actually chase an elk or two for just a moment here. And the reason I'm gonna do that, oh, that's a perfect cow elk. Let's do this, Willow. But the reason I'm going to do that is because I really don't think we have enough food for the summer hunting ground. Oh, come on. Stop wiggling. Don't run over my puppies. Sky? Sky! 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 
I seriously <laughs> I can't believe she jumped into my mouth this poppy if she has the opportunity to jump up into my mouth she does every time all right come on okay come on this is gonna be a bit of a hard hunt okay switch to crouch mode immediately willow willow you're making things more difficult than they need to be no don't run over my puppies Sky, of course, is the one who's kind of like suddenly dancing between the elk's hooves. I just really don't feel like I'm going to be able to feed my puppies enough. Mm, come on. All right, one or two more bites once we get to the other side. And then we'll have another carcass. And then I guess we're just going to have to get a move on. Even though we're playing on a pretty hard difficulty setting, uh, we don't have a lot of predators showing up. So what we might have to do is their challenge this time was to chase off like six six eagles and we actually haven't run into any eagles. Hmm. So we might have to lose an ancestor blessing. If you aren't able to complete the challenge but you just want to prioritize the life of the pups, then you lose an ancestor blessing and if you don't have one to lose then you can't you can't get rid of it that way. All right, there we go. Let's fill up on some food. Maybe if I go this way. Okay, Willow, you feed on that one. I'm gonna come over to this one and feed on this carcass and then I'll start moving puppies across. Cause sometimes the life in the wild just doesn't go the way you think it will. All right, and sometimes you just can't complete those challenges. So we're just gonna have to accept that we have very angry eagles, but they may have forgiven us. Maybe spirit chased them off. There we go. And yeah, I'm sorry it was a little anticlimactic. Spirit was supposed to have like this little story where he's up there with you. Usagi. Usagi, why? <laughs> Why? Go back towards your siblings. He was supposed to have that kind of little story going on and uh, Usagi just ended up like pretty much tumbling straight down the mountain with her mom right behind her. So Willow was not having any of that nonsense, you guys. All right, Usagi. Let's go ahead. We're going to feed you a little bit. Actually, come this way. Okay, nope. We don't need to bring Sky over here. Uh, she just... Did you see that? I think Willow just like picked up both of the puppies or like had Nightwatch in her mouth and just shoved Sky in front of her. Willow! A mother Willow. That's what's going on. She's really, really proven herself a dedicated mom. That's what's happening here. I am pretty impressed. All right. Well, let's continue moving. We're going to bring all of our little ones this way. Oh, wow. Yes. That's an elk on the hoof. Can I... Can I... Can I just kind of maybe come up on... Yeah. Come here. Hey, come here. Come here. We're going to do another quick hunt. Another hunt. No, no, no. Turn, 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 you. There we go. And... Because apparently everybody says if you lead your puppies this direction, that's the way you're supposed to go. Okay, I can't get that elk. That's the way you're supposed to go to get to the summer hunting ground and not take them across this little river part like I always do. But this is where all the food is. So I feel more inclined to try to go where the food is. All right, so we're currently upwind and the elk is getting all of our wonderful, wonderful scent. And that's why we can't get close to her. Ah, well, well, we'll try chasing her that way and then just getting a little bit closer. But for now, it's time to move the pups, I think. We can maybe get that elk, but I think we'll just waste our time if we try to. So I'm gonna swim back across. Oh, there's another elk. Man, they just scattered all over the place. Look at Willow go. Willow, where are you going? I, she's just like going back and forth with the puppies. All right. Well, let's bring all the puppies this way. Actually, is this elk kind of weak? Can I sneak up on it? No, this elk's not weak at all. I'm just gonna pass it up then. All right, come on, little ones. <gasps> it's a storm. You guys, it's been so long since we've had a storm. I can't help but feel like they're saying Willow's being a good mother. Some, oh gosh. Well, and then lightning comes down from the sky. Puppies, come on. All right, there we go. This is close enough or far enough away from the river that they're actually moving it. So we're gonna try to bring the puppies over to the part where I normally cross with the pups, I think. Cause I just have really good luck when we do that. And so far, despite Usagi confusing some coyotes in the grasses, <gasps> it begins! The eagles! We may not lose an ancestor blessing to losing this, this challenge after all. Oh gosh, but we may lose a puppy. No, thank you. All right, so if we chase off five more of those guys, then we should hopefully 
be able to snag an extra ancestor blessing. And if we aren't able to, then we lose an ancestor blessing because each litter has a unique challenge on top of whatever overarching challenges may be going on. So let's see. And you can actually see the eagles now, which is a big, a big relief. Oh, look at that. I guess eagles chased away are not on the list of things you can chase off. So we'll just have to remember manually. Okay. Well, we'll work on that. Because we made the eagles very angry. We destroyed the eagle nest by accident when Kuma chased a um, chased a elk straight into an eagle nest, or into a tree that had an eagle nest, and they knocked it out of the sky. There's a blessing from the stormy skies. They're getting better with putting their lightning a little bit further away from us. Thank you very much, stormy skies. All right. Usagi, Clover, and Sky. They're coming along. The elk are in the distance. I can't wait till we break the curse because there's going to be like all these birds that just show up all of the time. It should be quite fun. All right, where is the crossing? Okay, is it right here? No, no, no. I think I may have gone too far. Okay, right here? Yeah, this is it. Okay. There's an owl. No, thank you, owl. Okay, so right here. And then trot, 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 trot. Oh, nope, now we're down again. It's really hard to find the crossing. I think because we're not supposed to technically go on this crossing. So you know what? We won't. Everybody keeps going. Oh, Siri, this is not the spot you cross. This is, th that's why your mate gets so confused. So you know what? We're, we're going to go down a new path. I think, I think this is Willow's idea. If we're going to say this is Willow's idea. Because apparently if you come down this way and go like this, this is what you're supposed to do, I think, or this is what you're supposed to do, we'll figure it out. So we're going to try a new path past the cliffs, and we'll see if this works out. But I think Willow, now that we're working our way to the summer hunting ground, is starting to feel a little bit more confident in monitoring all the pups. Because look at her. Look at that mama wolf. She's feeding Clover right now. She's being a good mama. Oh wow, she's really feeding all the puppies, making sure that they're taken care of, going back for Skye, who has somehow managed to get to the back of the group. All right, come on, little ones. And we're gonna try a new path. <gasps> Bold new adventures. Thanks to Willow, too. I'm gonna say she's probably gonna be a good mama, but so far it's been kind of peaceful. Skye, for crying out loud. <laughs> I'm gonna go and snag her. Oh, Usagi? Usagi, why? Why is it always a coyote, Usagi? Why is it always you? All right, I think Willow is like not having it with this coyote. She doesn't often come along for coyote kills. So I think that her mothering like abilities are really going through the roof. Sky, did you catch your paw on like a plant or something? Are you stuck? Come here, you're always wanting to be held. You're getting a little big for this, you know? All right. And we'll try out walk in this direction. I have never done this before. If this proves to be significantly easier, then this is something we'll do more often. It would kind of be nice not to have our puppies kidnapped 24-7 by our, our mates every single time we try to go across that crossing. And we're going to continue walking this way. All right, good, 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 good. Come along, little ones. All right, Usagi, Nightwatch, Clover, Sky. <gasps> The second eagle! I really think that story idea of having destroyed an eagle nest is quite interesting. And I wonder if we don't destroy it. Ooh, you guys! I have a new, a new idea on top of all of the other new ideas we have for Wolf Quest. I'm like having uh, the old spirits of the past have a chance of be reborn, re being reborn when you guys pick the wolf pups. And having a chance to actually do some side stories, which all of you guys are super excited about. Voting on one of the surviving pups to do a side challenge with. But how about this? If we don't complete one of the challenges that we end up randomly rolling when it is time to like do this summer hunting ground portion, then the challenge is still there, but it gets harder the next round. So like next litter or maybe, ooh, that'll be the thing. If we don't complete the challenge while we are out and about with uh, our puppies towards the hum summer hunting ground, then that challenge will actually somehow become more difficult when we move on to their side story. So whatever challenge isn't completed during the summer hunting ground portion will make it happen for the side story that one of these puppies will be playing out after we get them to the summer hunting grounds. Kuma, so far for being a wolf who's playing on like one of the harder settings, you guys are kinda 
kind of got a bit of a chill life going on. I feel like this is Willow's fault <laughs> in a good way. I feel like Willow and Spirit are both very organized. Like Spirit is super patrolling and sniffing everything and making sure that nothing's happening behind them. And Willow is really stepping up to being a mother. I feel like she's getting more comfortable with the whole idea. All right, so Sky is coming. The puppies are following. <gasps> the third bird. We're halfway there. Let's make sure that we, we keep all of our puppies alive. Because sometimes the eagles land like right on top of a puppy. Like that. <laughs> Did we chase it away properly? Oh my gosh. All right, stay with me, little ones. We're halfway to taking care of these birds, and hopefully we'll get all the way there. And Willow should be back with- Oh, there it is! Get away! Get away, that's right. That's right, bird. Back off. We chase that eagle away. I like to think it's an owl when it's night, but we'll we'll deal with that in the future. But alright, okay, this was kind of a laid-back day. I'm not gonna complain. A day where we don't have all of our puppies die horrific deaths is always a good day. And it's been- Thankfully, very cougar-free. Unfortunately, very bear-free. Two more bears and we'd be able to get another ancestor blessing that Kuma could rack up for us. And so far, the puppies are doing pretty good. I think it's about time. It's about snack time. Time to break out snacks for Sky and Clover. And then we'll see what happens when Willow comes back. She's proving to be a really good mate. I'm still surprised that she managed to snag both Sky and Nightwatch at the same time and just, like, shove them forward. And we'll have to see... If going this direction prevents our mate from kidnapping our pups. And, oh gosh, <gasps> a lucky rabbit's foot. Did you guys see that? It just popped up right under our feet. That was awesome. Thank you, Grandpa Atlas. All right, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.